Here is Twitter, so many welcome to your channel and a great video, we are here to play the color shell and also another kind of video, I, I, actually we have here a, a specific video, we are going to analyze some hard counters actually on the top ladder, or it's better off to say on the top of the path of the legends against RG decks and a lava hound that I know that playing against RG with our deck golem first play is so hard and it's an issue for any golem player and I'm here to say that how we should play against them but we are going to analyze in the replies why is because I'm going to speak more as possible as I can to you to transfer all of my tactics and information for you that uh, I hope that it could be help you so if you are watching my channel for the first time please make sure to like the video comment your opinion and also subscribe to the channel if you have any video from any levels until the top ladder so you can be a golem pro golem player with our channel so my uh, I'm in a great great uh, range of 2625 uh, I'll actually go in the tilt range again uh, you can also see my uh, battle luck. So, as I told you, this video we're going to specifically uh, analyze this deck. So, against this player that uh, he has uh, great tactics and skill, the RG. So, how we should do the RG decks? Has the fisherman? Uh, some of the decks has the uh, Zappies and a mother of each in the same deck. So, how we should control our Zap? And now I'm going to. Uh, tell you here so we're going to play our golem because our cycle was golem navig our opponent's place is rg what should we do here i haven't my e bobs in the lumber jack so i'm going to play the bomber hopefully our opponent wanted to control my bomber or kill my bomber so as we uh, as i told you it is going to be like this and a fisherman here and this tomb soon so so helpful help to him to control my golem and the mother of it so now look at this the mother which is here the fisherman is in the middle the tombstone is middle and a lumberjack lumber is he's alone if our opponents ignore our lumberjack we could not take his tower but we should realize that our right tower is going to be gg but look at this as you see the mother which is going to uh, change my bats to the hogs and it's a great great arrow and it was a magnificent arrow my opponents didn't think so that I'm going to play like this and he hasn't any much electricity to defend it and this is the why say I why I say that uh, we should have a, a great election management and uh, unlucky I missed my cover uh, but I played four elixir phoenix and two elixir zap I uh, wanted to save my timer but it was not so let's have a oops for him, for me actually, because the, the yes, because it's RG and on and another unfortunately action from me. I played Golem from right side because I want to take his right tower and I missed the bomber here. The bomber uh, comes a bit fast and the Phoenix killed my bomber. So uh, my elixir is six. I need at least eight or nine elixir to have a big support, but I have to play this nine, which was really really tactic the knife which as you see my knife which is uh, stopped here and this is stopping helps me to spawn more bats a lumberjack here so hopefully i'm going to wait for six alexia to play the e-barbs yes we're watching my e-barbs and it's going to be gg our opponent sent his gg and i think both players played well and both players uh, enjoyed from these matchups so RG, if uh, so many players save me, RG is hard counter or golem, surely RG or Royal Giant. Uh, the Royal Giant players loves to play golem, why not? So our next match is against MK Bait, the Mega Knight Bait. I think uh, you know him, he's a pro Mega Knight player. So I think it's better to watch this video, how uh, we should play against Mega Knight. If we are hard counter against uh, these decks, but against pro players that they do any... Uh, I don't know new new action a new uh, Strategy it's going to be a bit difficult for us and we are here to analyze this battle So hopefully I'm going to play the lumberjack my zap is here to if he plays is any bets I help it but he plays the arrow and the goblin gang so surely I will ignore this 
lonely gob and I'm going to play the golem from the left side the y left side because the left side is damaged so so beat a bit damage and I'm going to play here and the opponent going to spam from the right side to nine which is here it's going to be a bit uh, dangerous because maybe he's going to play to support his mega knight but he's ignored his supporting and a great great defending strategy that I uh, haven't seen in this situation this scully Beller and the inferno dragon the scully barrel uh, wasted my times in attacking as you see I have to play bomber and my bomber will kill with arrow and the arrow will damage my phoenix in the knife which Lamarjik is here and uh, surely I'm going to play the Ebra, the arrow and it was a great great real life phoenix and it's going to be GG and so easy as a this I think we are yes surely we are hard counter against these matchups but uh, I think that he's a pro player it's better to upload it with you because the Kidnata just upload some hard counter decks we have to know that how we should play another decks so the next match is against this RG player he has a lightning mother which surely fisherman any luck so let's analyze this battle he's another pro player and look at my cycle what should we do here cycle our spells with a zap i sent the angry emote because i know him i know his decks and he's sending to good luck and he didn't accept the draw and we have to play he plays his uh, ghost from left side i have to play the lumber to control his ghost definitely he's going to uh, place his phoenix I'm gonna um, take down my phoenix but i'm going to play the golem here and i ignore to play the phoenix as you see he's uh, forced to play his rg and uh, the long knight which is here i think our tower will be down but we could have still uh, be in uh, attacking situations so the knight which is the e barbs are here the ghost any log it was nice defending look at my e barbs with just a ghost they defended and it's a great great arrow and nice step and i think it left tower is down yes only less than 40 hp needed but uh, this 40 hp uh, makes me i don't know angry because i have to play my spells and in the end forward uh, you will see that how i take this tower so he places lumberjack from right side it is uh, good to him because my rg connect i think about three or four times in a row the ghost is here if i ignore the ghost my tower will be gg so i have to play our e barb and it's a good news for our opponent because we uh, play our e barb so easily and he can easily defend it so it's really really great for the rg player and it's going to be so so worst for me because i cannot play the e barbs for his rg so the phoenix is here he's going to uh, have a trick me but i know his all the tactics a golem from here what a uh, hard and uh, difficult decision the lumberjack is here the bomber is here so he's going to use his fisherman the lock lumberjack and again lumberjack connect the tower we're going to play our e-barbs but unfortunately the e-barbs are coming back to at first kill these eggs and justice so look at his ghost uh, it was a risky action to play Lumberjack because maybe he's with lightning. But I did this uh, risk and look at the time. I still didn't attack for his left side. And then I uh, also insist on my decision. Then this Lumberjack took the crown for me and surely he's going to play his lightning, I think. Yes, 2 1. She has to play the lightning and he did. And a 6 elixir wasted for our RG player, but he forced to play. Now he's in his GG and he knows that what's gonna be happen. Another magnificent Ebros. We read and predicted his fisherman. Nothing he can do. It cannot be defend this push. This is that the what what why I say the golem first play is the most hardest and it's the most interesting actually golem deck in the Clash Royale. It's so skillful deck. So let's analyze another battles.
So the next match is against Jigsaw. I think he, uh, you know him. But Jigsaw is a great player. Uh, he plays as many decks as Pekka, as Cycle decks. He's so, so interesting player. I played a Golem from here. He plays his Phoenix. This playing is starting Phoenix in the starting match annoys me because I forced to play Phoenix. But if I play Phoenix, maybe his plays is Fireball, maybe his plays is Lightning. And I will lose my lonely air elements. And I think uh, the one of our disadvantage of this deck is that we have just a one on T A card and it's a Phoenix. So you have to play a long deck. And uh, like this, uh, I, uh, he has the Archer and the Bomb Tower and the Phoenix and also Knight, but he defends so so dramatically. Yes. The bon my minor. I'm going to play the bomber because I wanna uh, don't uh, lose my tower because if he plays I don't know five times four times minor it's like a two times Pekka connection to my tower so you shouldn't ignore the minor the minor is a silent killer actually <laughs> and joking then zap for cycle we are behind in a tiebreaker. But still we have time the night which is here. I'm going to see him. Does he want to place his uh, poison? But he preferred to keep his poison. And I think it was tactically action. Yes, it's just, now it's next to send me, uh, I don't know, thanks. EM. Why? Because you want to uh, uh, take some issues to my uh, concentration and uh, keep uh, down of my call. But uh, I didn't mute him. I didn't mute him at all. And I see it's always Emu to see that. What is he doing? A great zap. And now he's sending this lovely Emu. <laughs> wow, look at this tension. He's going to uh, make some uh, problem for me. But this Phoenix, I'm going to find his arrow, but he's. Uh, insist to didn't play his arrow and a uh, great great bomber the bomber is here to kill this egg look at the left side does he work no they didn't yes they didn't connect the tower and another golem so another is start DMing I think uh, this matchup was uh, so uh, sensitive because if I did any little mistake and I lose. He will destroy me by BME. He didn't finish to BME me. Yes. So the bomber, another great bomber from me. I think I was so so insane to play this bomber in these matchups. Insane bomber again in the middle of a great zap. Reset the archers and unfortunately the e bobs are not able. To connect again to the tower, but look at the tower. We are ahead about 1000 HP. But uh, if it's going to be the last 30 seconds of the match, it's going to place this minor like poison. So, this uh, 1000 HP is not appropriate HP that I say, Yes, I'm going to win this matchups. Uh, a lumber deck and the bomber from the middle. I'm going to play the knife from the right side. It's a, I think. Great action. I don't think so. Any golem player did this action, but this is my tactics. Another golem. So this uh, playing golem in here in this second of the match shows that Jigsaw, if you play the minor, you will be punished. And Jigsaw knows that he shouldn't play this uh, minor. And a great finish. Unfortunately, we lose a uh, Lumberjack, but Lumberjack is going to connect the tower. But no, a great, great zap and. Here, Jigsaw is still defending, I don't know why. He's going to start to defending, I played the Golem in the road. And... No, still he's going to play and... Uh, so he insists in his decision. And let's have a GG for him, and only with 10 seconds. And he now he lose and start to DM me. And uh, just this, this lovely event is enough to... All his BNB matchups. This is what I mean. <laughs>
What do you think? It was a great action to answer all his BM with this emote or no? Comment me on this video. What do you think about it? But uh, he BM'd me, I think, about 100 times in the just one matchup. So let's finish this video with a interesting and unbelievable matchups. Yes, splash yard with a bowler with a skelly king and freeze. You are saying that it is not unbelievable to uh, win these matchups, but we are here to finish this video with this great, great matchup so his plays his graveyard and his kelly king he take my tower so easily so so easily and he play his inferno dragon here and uh, a great nado to kill all of my bats my zap is here if he plays the skeletons i'm going to play my arrows and he plays La baby dragon the lumberjack is here i think the lumberjack is connect the tower and the matchups is going to be no no he's going to defend it so i'm going to play my earbuds look at my elixir and look at our opponent's elixir this is the key of the winning he hasn't any elixir to defend it he hasn't any chance to defend off this my push and it's going to be tunnel i think because the left tower 1000 hp is reachable for me if i play my golem in the, the, the worst situation i can't take this tower down but uh, let me see how we take this cover. I think finishing this video with these interesting matchups will be so, so enjoyable. And actually, in the top ladder, in the, against top players, a great, great golem. The bowler mentioned my golem and uh, he forced to play his nado. But look at the bowler. The bowler is going to damage my Nivish, the baby dragon, and the baby dragon, and the inferno dragon. Our opponent's deck is insane. Another uh, sensitive zap. Our golem reaches to his tower, and the golems are damaging to the tower. Uh, 300, and then waste bomber here. And I think that it's going to be finished expensive for me because I lose two elixirs so cheaply, and I lose my bomber. The bomber is the most important card in my deck, and against the splash shard. Wow, look at my tower. My tower was so so healthy and. Now my tower is going to be GG, so now my tower is 1000 HP. Another great step, all we need is to cycle our cards. Our opponent is going to just play the baby dragon or bowler and play the splash yard. And I know this action, he did this action, I play to Lumberjack and the E-Barbs. So unfortunately I haven't zap and... Look at defending, the witch was so so great. And he take the tower. It was so so nice match. What do you think about this text? You are still in the tilt range and uh, I haven't played an Expo Archer about one week actually. So I hope that this tilt range will finish soon. So guys, we reached the end of this video. I hope you have fun and have learned some tactics. I think myself, it was a great video. We played RG, we played Splash Shard, we played MK Megabit and Pro Mega Knight player. And this was so, so hard counter matchups. That's how we should play against hard counter matchups in top ladder. So don't forget to like the video, comment your opinion. If you have any question against any deck, comment for me. I try to make a video uh, for that your question and uh, make sure to subscribe my channel and farewell until another great video